Projectors are used almost everywhere nowadays, from business meetings to home theaters. Projecting an image or video on a wall from an electronic device already seems like a technology from a science fiction movie. But how does this device project images and video? Why is it so expensive? And what is the secret behind its working? In this video, we will learn about the working principle of an LCD projector, especially a 3LCD type of projector. Before going directly into the working process, we have to learn some basic things. As we know, video is made up of frames. Frames are just simple pictures of any scene. While recording a video, a camera automatically takes many pictures very fast, and while playing the video, all the pictures are arranged in order and played in sequence. When we see that, our brain finds it very difficult to notice the difference and concludes that the sequence is continuously playing, which we call a playing video. The number of frames taken in a second by the camera is known as FPS, or frames per second, which we usually see written in video games or while recording the video. As you can see here, the difference is between 24 frames per second and 12 frames per second. The industry standard value, which is usually used in the production of anime, is 24 frames per second. We also know that white light is composed of three basic colors, red, green, and blue. LCD projectors are the most common type nowadays due to their decent quality projection, low cost, and longer lifespan. First, let's have a look at the components of the projectors. I have divided the projector into three divisions for easier understanding. The first is the separation circuit or processing circuit. In this section, each frame is separated into three different images. Each image is composed such that every image lacks one of the three basic colors and is then sent to the third division or projection division. This circuit controls every function of the projector from brightness, contrast, saturation, etc. The second division is the laser division. This division is responsible for the lights needed for the projection of the media. This division contains blue lasers, a phosphor wheel, and a lot of lenses and mirrors. Blue lasers are used because they are usually brighter than other types of light. The phosphor wheel is used to convert the blue light from the laser into white light. It is mounted on a motor, which makes it rotate at a very high speed so that the distribution of light is proper. The lenses are used to focus all the lights into the projection division. In this division, three special types of mirrors are used called dichroic mirrors, which separate colors from the white light. At last, there is the third division, or the projection division. This division contains three polarized LCD panels and a prism at the center of the LCD panels. There are also a ton of lenses after the prism to diverge the image onto a surface. Now let's learn about how these components work together to produce such an amazing result. When we connect the projector to any external device for input through the VGA cable, the data is taken by the processor and each frame of the media is separated into three pictures, each lacking one of the basic colors. The three pictures are then sent to the polarized LCD panels. The panels adjust themselves so that the perfect amount of light passes through them and does not look different from the actual media. Then the laser is illuminated, and the blue light is deviated to the phosphor wheel, where it converts into white light. Then the white light is reflected into the first dichroic mirror. The first dichroic mirror separates light with the same wavelength as red light. Similarly, after that, green and blue lights are also separated and then pointed at the polarized LCD panels. When the light rays are scattered onto the polarized panels, each part of the image gets the light of the color they were lacking. For example, this colorful picture can be separated into three pictures, each lacking one of the three colors. When we fill images with the color they are lacking, they will look like this. And when we combine these images again, the colorful image will return. Though this seems easy, the amount of brightness in the image is very important. Otherwise, this image can also turn out like this, which is completely different from the original picture. After that, the lights from the panel pass through the prism in the middle, and all three parts of the image get focused in one direction, giving us the original pictures but now in light ray form. The focused ray is then adjusted by the lenses and projected on the screen outside. There are many types of projectors, like lamp projectors that use a lamp instead of lasers as a backlight, LED projectors, and DLP projectors, but almost every projector has the same basic working principle. I hope you learned something new from this video. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. 
Thank you for watching the video.